At the White House Monday, China's most senior diplomat met with the new U.S. president after meeting his son-in-law and key advisor, as well as Trump's new national security advisor. The state councilor came today. They had a meeting with uh, H.R. McMaster, uh, Jared Kushner, um, and I think some others sat in on the meeting. Uh, they had a delegation of six people here. Uh, after the meeting ended, I believe uh, the state councilor uh, was taken and, and had an opportunity to say hi to the president uh, before he left. This is an opportunity to, be, to begin that conversation um, and talk to them on um, shared interests of national security. The Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs gave more detail on the substance of the talks, saying in a news release, Yang Zhechu said the recent phone call between President Xi and Trump is highly significant. It points the direction for further development of bilateral relations, and the two parties will respect each other's core interests and major concerns and work together to push forward bilateral relations in order to bring benefits to the people of China, the U.S., and the world. Young Jia Chia is to hold meetings with the new U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson at the State Department early Tuesday. That follows meetings recently with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi in Europe. Both countries say they want a meeting between the two presidents as soon as possible, but there are many issues where the world's two largest economies have differences. For example, how to manage the DPRK's banned nuclear and missile program following this month's missile launch, and China's objection to the deployment of the FAD anti-ballistic missile system in South Korea. Trump's executive order to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership and his threats to slap punitive tariffs on Chinese goods have deepened uncertainty over U.S. trade policy with China and the rest of the world. U.S. policies on the South China Sea and close-in surveillance of China's coasts are also big question marks right now. A complicating factor, Donald Trump has yet to make key appointments in foreign policy, especially when it comes to Asia and China.